Hello everybody and welcome to part one of our classic plastic tribute build. We're doing this as a tribute to Chris Cortell. Uh, this is the 135th scale Tiger One kit by Tamiya. I'm going to be building this one up in stages here and taking you through the different videos and getting this thing done. Uh, my goal for today is to get the chassis part of the tank finished and primed and painted and then we can go ahead and from there and add on all the drive wheels and everything, build this thing from the ground up. Uh, I've been working on the main part of the tank body here a little bit, the tub itself. I've got it all sanded down to get rid of all the mold lines and all the uh, burrs and everything that were on the uh, uh, parts here after we took them off of the sprue. I've got this rear bulkhead glued in place and I've got these two little uh, details here, part of the drive system glued on in the front. I've also been working on the turret a little bit and the main gun which is an 88 millimeter. It was a really big gun for a tank at that time. It had a pretty substantial seam on the top and the bottom. The turret, or the barrel itself, had a you know was a two-piece assembly, and I've got rid of that entire seam. I've got this looking pretty nice. Uh, you know, you can uh, buy aftermarket metal barrels for these, but if you take your time a little bit and work with the plastic, you can get it to look pretty good. There's some variations in this kit. We're building this uh, the way it appears on the box, which is tank number th uh, 332. It was a uh, summer 1943 version, sort of the early uh, production version of the Tiger tank. And as you go through the instructions, you'll see that there are some different parts that you want to use. This forward bulkhead right here, for example, is the one that we wanted to use. They give you some optional parts for the different versions of this tank. So we made sure we paid attention to that. The turret itself is in two pieces. I had to uh, glue it together and then uh, fix up the uh, seams. We filled that in with some putty and got it all sanded down and primed. Uh, we're going to be dropping the lid onto this thing here, but I've got to build the uh, interior part of the barrel here first. There's a breech assembly and there's some small detail parts that go on the interior. It doesn't come with a full interior, unfortunately, but you wouldn't really be able to see it anyway once you put the top down on there, so not that big of a deal. Um, so we'll be working on that part a little bit later. Like I said, today we're going to be focusing on getting this part done. We've got all these uh, pieces here that need to get glued on to the sides of the tub here part of the suspension and uh, we'll get that done and then I'm going to take this over and prime it and get it painted before we put all the wheels on because it'll be hard to get paint in behind all that. I'm going to airbrush this whole thing so we want to make sure we get all this done first. Uh, I've got my paint made up for this and everything. The colors that we're going to go with is this kind of gray, almost the gray that it's molded in here. Maybe just a little bit lighter than that to start with because we are going to be weathering this and when you do a wash, we're going to be doing a black wash and things like that on it, it will bring the overall color down uh, darker just a little bit so we don't want to make it too dark when we end up in the, with our finish. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and start get started here. These are pretty straightforward as the instructions show. Uh, you have several of these that need to go on and they are basically glued on horizontal, horizontal to the uh, sides of the uh, uh, tub part of the tank here, the bottom assembly, so uh, these parts here are all the same. You've got these little different ones here that go up towards the front and they sort of have a index key as far as the way they go in, so I'm going to start putting those in first and uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing going here. They've got uh, you know like a little key assembly there so it'll only go in there one way. And just like that. Okay, then we're going to start working our way back. <clears throat> We've got the, uh, I want to make sure we put the correct end on these. These are two different shapes here. Okay, we've got a pin there. Okay, just like that. They, so they've got a little pin on there, so you make sure you get it straight. Okay, pretty straightforward with that. So let's go ahead and start getting these glued in. I also took my time and uh, cleaned up all these parts really good. I took the hobby knife and got rid of the burrs and then some 320 sandpaper and just slightly went over them just to make sure we didn't have any problems with that. I 
I'll be doing a couple of modifications on the parts here that I'll get into when we get into the upper part of the body that I'll share with you guys to give this thing a little bit more realistic look. As I mentioned uh, when I talked about this model on the model shop the other night, um, the uh, I'm building this box stock because next year for our Model Fiesta show they have a box stock class for the uh, armor category for the model show, so I'm going to enter it in that so I can't add on any aftermarket parts to this. Uh, but we can do any kind of modifications we want to the uh, existing parts. So there's a couple things you can do on this kit that I saw right off the bat that uh, will make it look a little bit more realistic. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then of course we're going to uh, weather it and everything and uh, try to do a nice paint job on it. Get the driver figure or the commander tank commander figure painted up real nice. Okay, so there's our first row of uh, our suspension parts. And we'll flip it around here and do the other side now. This is all going really nice and easy. Okay, we've got that in the right spot. Just said they have that keyed so you can't get it wrong. too precise on the glue on these because this sits right over the top of it where you can't see it. Very impressed with the uh, Tamiya kit so far. A lot of you guys out there have probably built a lot of Tamiya kits. I haven't really done that many of them. Uh, it's only my second one. I built a Tamiya car once, a car kit a long time ago. I don't even remember what it was. It was back when I was a teenager. And I remember back then I was impressed with the quality of their kits. This particular kit here has been around for quite a while too, probably over 20 years. Okay, so there we have our suspension in place now. So we've got our little, a um, couple of little drive gears here. Uh, these are the optional ones. As I mentioned, there's some optional parts for early production, late production, all that. I made sure I got the early production versions off the parts uh, tree. So we'll put those on. Uh, they basically go on right up here. And these guys here go on at the back. Uh, but we, like I said, we want to go ahead and get this primed and painted before we do that so we don't have a lot of problem trying to get paint in behind that and stuff. So I'm going to take you guys over to the uh, painting area. I'm going to go ahead and prime it first, get my primer dry, and then I'll show you uh, the uh, airbrush painting that we're going to be doing on this. And as, as I said, I mixed up my own color for this, so I'll be back with that in just a couple seconds. All right, everybody, we're ready to go with our paint uh, application onto our lower half of our tank here next. I've got this primed and it's been drying for a little while. It came out really good, nice and smooth. Did a little quick sand on it with some 600 grit paper. So I've got my paint mixed up. Mixed up this little uh, medium gray here so it's ready to go. And uh, I'm going to turn on my ventilation and get going on this.
All right, that's our first coat of paint, everybody. Looks pretty good. Being that I'm using this solvent-based paint, this will uh, be dry in about probably 10 or 15 minutes. It's about 78 degrees here inside the shop. So we'll let that dry. We'll come back. We'll hit it with another coat, and then we'll move on back over to the bench and uh, take a look at how it came out and start putting together the rest of our assembly for our chassis. Here's a look at all the wheels that we have to put together on this kit. You can see that's a whole lot of wheels going on there, um, but we're going to be able to uh, uh, get this taken care of. Each one of these uh, wheels has a number stamped on the back side of it because there are particular ones that go together with each one, so I wasn't worried about pulling them off of the sprue and then not knowing which one was which. Um, so like I said, they're all numbered. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to take these and uh, take some tape and lay it down and I'm going to stick all these down on some tape so I can take it over to my spray area and get all these painted. Now, I'm not going to prime these because they have a little bit of uh, texture on the uh, surface of some of these and I want to leave that detail there. Uh, I don't want my primer, which is a little bit thick, to uh, you know cover that up and lose that because when we do our weathering, our wash and our, you know, our, we're going to use some uh, a wash and some uh, artist chalks and things like that to get our weathering on this, that little bit of rough texture on there is going to uh, you know, actually help pick that up a little bit. So uh, these up here, you can see I've got these assembled, the main drive sprockets and the, uh, you know, the rear drive wheels or whatever they are. But we've got to lay down a coat of paint on these, matching the, the you know, overall hull color on the tank. And then we're going to have to come back and hand paint the, uh, they, they actually have a little rim of black rubber all the way around on each one. So a lot of work to do there. Okay, so I'll get this set up over in the paint area, get them all taped down, we'll spray those, and then we'll come back again. Well, here we have all of our wheels lined up, and you can see this is quite a lot of wheels. I had to go through and uh, get all the uh, plastic burrs off of each one of them, clean them up, a little bit of light sanding around the edges. So I'm going to paint uh, the back side of them first, and then we'll let them dry a little bit, flip them over, and paint the other side. So here we go. Okay, everybody, and there we have it. Ran out of paint just at the right time. So there's our uh, wheels all painted up. We'll give these a little time to dry, pop over to the bench again, and uh, I'll start uh, getting the black rubber part of these painted. Then we can assemble them and finish up today with our uh, lower half of our chassis completed. All right, so here we are back on the bench again, and I've been uh, working on our road wheels here a little bit. I've got all these uh, painted up, just used a little bit of... Uh, craft acrylic paint to do the black on the uh, rubber part of the wheels and I've got this side glued on you can see there's uh, several rows of wheels there pretty pretty intense uh, detail there looks really good so we're gonna turn this thing around now and go over here and uh, do this side we've got to uh, start off here first with these sort of double road versions and it does make a difference on which side you put these on the spacing on these is uh, important so we've got to put the long side towards the inside of the uh, bottom of the tub here let me get all these gathered up make sure we have them all there should be four okay so we've got that and then this sprocket here has to kind of go on at the same time at the front uh, in order to get the clearance there so I'm just going to go ahead and start putting some glue on everything here remember correctly it skips every other one so we've got to put these inner ones on first here which are these guys right here should have four of those
Okay, we've got those. Let's see, these go out on the third. You gotta skip every other one here. Okay, so we're gonna start off by kind of halfway putting this one on, just leaving it a little bit loose there. <clears throat> and then we've gotta go with these. detail with the bolts on the hub goes towards the inboard side. Okay, just gonna keep that like that. Actually, this has to go behind that, I think. Oh, I'm one too far forward, that's why that's not right. Okay. Good thing we can use the other side for reference. Alright, kind of leave that like that. And then we're gonna skip every other one. So we have those. Now we can begin to put these on. Remembering again that this has to be um, the longer side of the spacing goes towards the inboard. And now this can be pushed in place. We've got another set of double road that go on here. These basically sit something like this. So we need to put glue on these little tips here. Finally, we've got the last four that go on the very outer part here. Just kind of fit in these little sockets. Last one. Okay. Now I'll be uh, keeping my eye on these to make sure they all come out nice and straight. Uh, we'll let these dry really good, probably overnight. And then we're going to uh, be putting the uh, tread together. I've got to paint the tread. It says you can use regular model glue on that, but I'm going to go ahead and use some CA glue that that'll glue that vinyl together really strong uh, and then we have to stretch the tread around that and put it on so you'll see that done the next time uh, we come back 
we'll be going, uh, coming back in the next video working on the turret here a little bit and then we'll start working on the upper body uh, putting some of the detail pieces on doing some more painting and uh, we'll be moving right along I'm not sure how many videos it'll take to finish this maybe two maybe three at the most I think probably three or so but uh, there we go guys we'll just kind of give you a look at it real quick here's the uh, one side and here's the other side looks really good like I said we're going to be doing a little bit of weathering on this now we can come in here with our wash and everything and start bringing the uh, detail out on that a little bit of black wash and then we're going to be doing a little bit of light coat of dust and stuff like that I'm not going to make this tank super super beat up you know I, I kind of want to go with what it looked like on the box art there and it's a uh, it's a sort of a semi fresh tank if you want to call it that not too bad so there we go guys I'm gonna let this dry then we'll be back with some work on the turret next and some of the upper deck and everything so we'll see you next time everybody and I'm enjoying this tribute build can't uh, can't wait to see uh, what all the other guys are doing out there for your builds should be really cool I know there's a lot of people uh, participating in it so I'll be checking out your videos as well so we'll catch you next time everybody until then take care and happy modeling everyone